All right, guys. All right, guys. This is Michael. Uh, we're back. What we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna relaunch this so that you can see it. Uh, you guys probably want to make sure your internet connection is on. If you're not seeing something, it's probably because of that. These aren't gonna allow you to do anything yet. We're gonna add these methods in. I added a couple more feeds from my feed reader. I only had a couple, so I went back to ESPN.com. I took some more feeds off and I added those to my feed data class. Okay. So I got some more. So ESPN.com, ESPN, Major League Baseball, National Hockey League, National Football League, uh, National Basketball, NBA Association. All right. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to stop this. And we want to add a couple uh, event handlers on here. So we're on the items page. So the items page.xaml. I want you to go ahead and go to where it says grid view right here. Grid view. And you see over here this properties pane uh, loads up right here. Uh, but first, I want you to go ahead and space, and then we're going to say is enabled. Okay? And what's going to be enabled on here is basically uh, you want it to check whether it's enabled to be, to be true or not for the event. Uh, so what we need is, is, let me go back here, is item and then we want to say click enable and we're going to say true on that one okay then what I want you to do I want you to go over here in the properties if you can't view the properties go view and then make sure you can see this area okay you can click on this lighting bowl right here you can go down here until you can see item click okay item click and we're just going to call this item view underscore item click okay and you're going to hit enter it's going to bring you over to your .cs sharp uh, page and what we're going to put right here is this and we're going to have to do the same thing for the list view so if e dot clicked item is not equal to null string title is equal to uh, whatever the depth was for this one dot e dot Oop. E data e dot click dot and whatever one was clicked dot its title okay so it's gonna this is a parameter that we're making to pass in to the feed data thing on the split page and we're gonna work on that in just a second so this dot frame uh, dot navigate and this is what we did on the app uh, app dot uh, xaml.cs page remember so the navigate to and we're going to do the type of and it's going to be the split page that we made or whatever you call the split page on yours and we're, that's going to be the title that we're going to pass over there to it okay so now what we need to do is we need to go back to the items page again I want you to go down to this view here we're going to do space and we're going to do is item click enable and we're going to say that true Okay, I'm gonna control S on that. So you save that, go over here to your event handler. You can go to where are we at? Oh, we're right there. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and type, uh, I'm gonna call it list view underscore list click because we need another name. Let's click, all right, and then you can click enter. It's gonna make you one over here and it adds the XAML automatically. And we're gonna, for time's sake, I forgot to put in one of these, yeah. There we go, and this should not be here. We're gonna go ahead and copy this, so Control C, and do a little Control V right there. I'm gonna save that, it's gonna come up with an error. You can hit Enter after that last squiggly line. Close that off with another squiggly line bracket. Control S here. Now if we load this, it's gonna take us to the other page but it's not gonna actually fill up the page yet because we didn't tell the split page what to do with the data. Okay, so I'm gonna hit ESPN. It's gonna take me to this blank page because it doesn't have anything to populate it with. So let's click the corner up here. Let's control S. Now what we need to go ahead and do, and we can worry about page titles later. I don't care if it's called my application or not. Okay, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and go over to the split page .xaml. Now, I want you to just right click on this area, or on this area, and click view code. We'll go over here to the split page All right, now that we're here, 
we need to these right here regions right you can make a region and call it whatever you want but this is the page date management region and it has an end region right here so you start it out to create a region and then it'll give you these nice little uh, closed things so you can keep your code nice and neat but let's go ahead and open that up and under uh, you want to go to a load state method it under this load state after the to do assign uh, basically a collection bindable items blah 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 we're gonna put a little space in here uh, my code is still running so I didn't stop that all right double space this right out a couple spaces we're gonna go here we're gonna do string and I'm gonna call this e title because we're passing it over and I gotta tell it that it's string and this is the navigation oops navigation parameter but this gets cut off here in a second guys it's all right just uh, go ahead and follow the next tutorial okay feed data equals feed data source dot get feed because this is what we're doing for our method here feed title that we just made up there and we need to say if feed data is not equal to oops it's not equal to null not equal to null, then this dot default I'm trying to type quick view model feed because that's the view model here equals uh, feed data what we just put up there but it's gonna put it into that way it's not default view oops view model we're going to say items, close that out, equals uh, feed data dot items. Okay, close that out, control S. And now, what we're going to go ahead and do is I want you to go ahead and build this real quick. You'll probably be able to see it. Hopefully, it'll build and not exit out of the thing yet. But let's go ahead and ASPN.com. It loads your feeds. You see this reference to these things, school said, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to change this over. And it actually fills out your title and everything. But we're going to fill this because right now what this is doing is it's sending over the HTML. Okay. So it'll fill your page. So we need to make this a web part view so that it actually does it. But you see uh, where we're at here. All right. Let's go back. I'm going to exit out. Close off. We'll start the next tutorial from here. All right, guys. All right. Perfect. Bye-bye.